Hello everyone, uh, this is Dean Mitchell. I want to welcome you uh, back to the Cutter & Cutter Gallery. Uh, I would also like to extend my sincere thank you to the Cutter Gallery and its family for representing my work. Uh, I know everybody's anxious to get out a bit and uh, hopefully uh, that we can all get around uh, safely and uh, you know get our lives back to some sense of normalcy, hopefully safely. Um, but I also want to talk about a little bit about the work I'm doing now. Some of it, uh, as you know, I do a lot of watercolors, but I also work in other mediums, including oils as well as acrylics. Now, if you're not familiar with acrylic, it is also a water-based medium. And I have been combining the two, uh, watercolor and acrylics, to give the work a little bit more of an edge, edgy quality to it, sometimes a little bit more uh, of an opaque feeling to the paint, as well as having some of the uh, superficial washes from the watercolor come through the opaque paint to give it a little bit more of an abstraction. Uh, I'm an artist who, um, though I was, I was not classically trained as a painter, I was classically trained as a draftsman as far as drawing goes. But as far as my painting skills go, uh, that has been trial and error. I do not have a set way I work. Uh, it's very intuitive. My subject matter I choose is very intuitive. There are paintings in here that are at the gallery that are layered in history. Uh, one of the things that attracts me to a space is usually its history. There's a painting in there of, I believe, of Fort Scott's barrels. Uh, my first uh, time going to Fort Scott, I discovered that uh, this was the first time in which black troops were officially uh, accepted into the Union and also was the first time in which they engaged in battle. And so I've repeatedly uh, painted that space because of that history. There's another painting in there um, of Old Sage House. Home. I've done a lot of things of Osage because of the history of the Osage Indians. At one time, the, those Native Americans were some of the richest people in the world. So after visiting Osage, it's a very humble uh, space, but there's quite a few uh, old mansions there, and they were known for building mansions and so forth. But there, it, it is layered with a lot of history, a lot of uh, greed, a lot of uh, intrigue, a lot of betrayal. Uh, and so when I paint something, it's usually there is some reason to my being engaged in that particular space. But over the last, you know, few months or so, I have been doing a lot with acrylics and watercolors. As you know, watercolor is transparent. It's a very unforgivable medium. It is the master's medium. And there's a reason for that because it's unforgivable. Uh, once the stroke is down, you cannot correct it. I do have paintings that I will have met, admit I have destroyed a lot of watercolors because I do quite a bit of them. And because they're spontaneous and unforgivable, sometimes they do not work out. And I'm able to save them using a water-based medium uh, of acrylic because they're, I can marry the two and sometimes uh, bring, bring that painting up. Uh, other times uh, they are totally destroyed. Uh, but anyway, I hope uh, you will enjoy the new works that I'm sending in, and hopefully you will be inspired by it. Thank you.